Hi everyone, it's Ashley Cannonoul, and for this week's Make It Monday, I'm going to be focusing on using a masking technique to make those sentiments pop and make them the focal points of your cards. And I'm going to be using this sentiment here, and this one is from Stylish Sentiments Birthday. Okay, and here is the sentiment here. It's um, right here, and what I'm going to first do is just pick a post-it note, and the reason why um, I'm using a post-it note is because it's a little bit thinner than cardstock, and I like to mask with the post-it note paper because it's just thinner, and you can get a better impression uh, from your masked images that way. So I'm just going to stamp it onto the post-it note here, and now what I'm going to do, so I clean my stamp, is take a pencil and just kind of draw around it, freehand my border here, just say. Um, if you have a die that coordinates with your sentiment or if you're just using like a circle or a square type of die, you, that's definitely an easier way to go. I'm just showing you probably one of the more difficult um, techniques here. So I'm just going to take my scissors and this freehand, cut this out. So I'm just going to go right there and try to make my line as smooth as possible and then my straight lines as straight as possible all right and once this is done everything else will come together really easy because this is your mass part all right so there it is and now I'm going to take my Here's my card front. This is just an A2 card. I'm gonna get some repositional um, adhesive and then use that here. So when I'm ready to remove it, I can remove this right on up. So I'm gonna put it about right here. I'm using my lines here as a guideline. All right, so I have this stamp set here. This is Wish Wishes Come True. And this one comes with a lot of different candles. And since it's a birthday card um, about candles, I thought it would be cool to stamp different candles on here. So going to go ahead and pick a candle add it to my acrylic block and basically I'm just going to be stamping all over this part um, I'm going to start here make sure that's on there straight I'm going to use a different block. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and just start stamping my candles. First one, switch it up. I'm going to have the different pattern candles. There's another one. Actually, I'm going to use this color. Well, no. Just 
I'm gonna make sure my candles are the same height. color here. And then we just remove the mask. And stamp my sentiment. This is great for a one layer card or you can jazz it up and embellish it after you've stamped. So here is the finished product of how it looks with the candles coming out of it. I also have um, another version of a card to share with you how you can do it with flowers using like a background stamp. You can stamp flowers like this or actually use a background stamp, stamp the entire background, mask off the sentiment. I hand drew the border, um, but there are other stamp sets that would go great with coordinating with borders. You have to make sure your sentiment fits in here. This is limit, Limitless Layers um, labels, and so you can use any of the basic shapes that Paper Train has as an option. And, um, if you don't have the border around it, it looks kind of naked to me, so I like to create the border. But I like having this, it's like, it just looks like a seamless print. All right, and then here is one other option. I used um, the Plaid Builder stamp set and stamped the stripes um, in different colors and then just masked off the matte stat seven uh, and then I just did the matte stack, the matte stack um, basics, matte stack seven basic stamp around here. And just added the sentiment and then I just added the embellishment. So this is a way how you can step it up a little bit. Very, you know, one layer at first but here's a way you can step it up and embellish it and add more dimension and make it a little bit um, more three-dimensional. Here's the one-dimensional way. Here's another one-dimensional way. And again, you can add little things here um, to make it pop if you want to as well. It's just it's all up to you. So I hope you like this tutorial on how you can mask sentiments. It's basically a masking technique, but the focal point is not just on masking images, but masking the images with sentiments to make the sentiments pop out from your actual um, images. So I hope you like this week's Make It Monday tutorial and you participate. I'd love to see what you create and I hope to um, hop around to each of your blogs to see and comment along the way. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week. And I'm Ashley Cannon-Newell for Paper Tray Inc. Bye.